the hype for this movie just continues to grow. What's up, guys? Dynasty, and yes, we're back at it again today discussing the Mortal Kombat reboot film because after they dropped those two promotional posters last night giving us a first look at our boys Sub-Zero and Kano, the WB marketing team said, hey, you know what? Uh, have another nine more. So a grand total of 11 posters have been dropped within the last, like, 12 to 13 hours. It's, uh, it's a lot to take in, let me just say. Most of these designs based on the posters have completely surpassed my entire expectations. The costumes are on point. These guys look the part. So at the very least, if you are trying to hate this movie, I hope you can appreciate just how good these posters look. With that said though, let's break this down. Let's have some fun and well, let's get into it. So first things first, the next poster after seeing Kano's was CC Stringer's Melina, and I think she is looking pretty damn good. She looks awesome. There has been a bit of concern because her Tarkatan teeth aren't necessarily visible. Um, her mouth is very MKX Melina inspired to some degree. It's a human mouth, really. Um, so I'm not ready to like jump the gun and say, oh, there's no Tarkatan teeth. This is horrible. I'm hoping just like the lack of the steel plate for Kano's laser eye. Maybe Melina has her Tarkatan teeth just hidden inside her head, her mouth, and it's not necessarily visible until she's, like, in combat? Then it kind of morphs into that, you know? Maybe they took a few liberties? It's to be expected in Hollywood, so I'm still crossing my fingers and hoping that the teeth are a bit more menacing than just some human teeth, because when I think of Melina, I think of, well, Melina eating people alive. So, other than that... She looks great. The actual skin and costume design look good. I love the blood on the side of her face at the very least. Like I mentioned, that gives it that whole MKX inspired vibe. Just no, again, Tarkatan teeth, but we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna jump the gun yet. That's like the one concern I think I've seen all night and all morning is people just really wanted to see some Tarkatan menacing teeth. But other than that, spot on. Shortly after they shared that Melina poster, they shared this right here. It's Max Wang as Kung Lao, and honestly, nothing too uh, groundbreaking because we've seen Kung Lao a few times in promotional screenshots already, but it is still cool to see. So yes, Kung Lao mains rejoice because Max Wang is doing it justice, and honestly, this attire just looks so sick. After showing Kung Lao some love, they shared this image of Cole Young, yes, Louis Tan's character in the film, and you can see on his chest, he has the birthmark that we've been talking about for a few weeks now. It's meant to, like, give them their arcana abilities or enhance it anyway. The marking itself is the old logo we saw going back to, I want to say, over a year ago that I think most people actually hated. I liked it, but people hated this logo, and uh, now it's going to be the marking on the cast. Definitely a lot more visible than it's ever been, too. So, yeah, there you go. This is Cole Young in the movie. Cross your fingers and just hope for the best, because, uh... <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Louis Tan's a great actor. I believe in him. Now this, this is where things get very exciting because in my opinion, this is the best poster we've seen all morning, all night. It is Chin Han as Shang Tsung. I never thought in a million years somebody could be on par with Kerry Tagawa Shang Tsung. So far, just even based on like an appearance standpoint, but Chin Han just looks the part. This Looks like the evil, soul-stealing, Quan Chi, Delhi Alliance-creating Shang Tsung himself. This is... This guy's just oozing evil. Look how evil he looks. He looks dead. Look at his neck. Look at the veins. He just looks like he is about to consume souls. Like, oh, guys. The costume, the gear, the armor, the royalty. It's money. I love it. They killed it. It looks amazing. So, yes. If you can't tell, I am on cloud nine after seeing Shang Tsung because I think they killed it. This is knocked out of the park. I never thought I'd ever accept anyone but Kerry Tagawa, but boy, whew, based on this poster alone, was I wrong. I'm really excited to see Shang Tsung in this film more than I ever was. So yeah, safe to say I'm probably not the only one that feels this way. I just think he stole the show right here. Now, speaking of stealing the show, here is Jessica McName as Sonya Blade. Yes! This time, she is wielding the combat knife. She's also rocking what we saw in the few second teasers from the HBO Max trailers to be expected. But I think, again, everyone universally has been just sending nothing but positive feedback towards these posters. I think she looks great. She looks like Sonya. What more could you ask for? I love it. Next up is Ludi Lin's Liu Kang. And again, we've seen this a few times through promotional screenshots already. But this time, 
He's actually creating a fireball. <laughs> I hope we get to see some bicycle kicks also from Ludi Lin in the film as well. Not no worries, but oof, they delivered fireballs and some bicycle kicks and a stare down with the evil Emperor Shang Tsung. Yeah, I'd be a happy camper. But there you go, Ludi Lin is Liu Kang. Here's his poster again. We've seen it before, but it just looks so great to see with all the added effects. What's Mortal Kombat without Raiden, right? So here is Tadanobu Asano is Raiden. And I think again, just like Shang Tsung, to finally see the cast and crew in costume with some added effects. I am, I'm so happy. This looks so good. Definitely a nice take on the character. I'm really liking the shoulder pads. I know some people really don't like shoulder pads in Mortal Kombat, but for me, I kind of just feel like it gives the attire that extra oomph with the gear. I don't know. I'm sorry, it's really random. I will say this though, the, uh, the hair. The lack of flowing hair kind of upsets me. I just think of Christopher Lambert and his long hair. So when I think of Raiden, I just, think of long hair that is the only thing i would have changed maybe it's still there maybe his hair is just hiding under the straw hat it could be but uh other than that i've got really no complaints the staff looks amazing the robe looks amazing he has glowing white eyes it looks like raiden when i think of raiden what more could you ask for for real guys like i'm really happy <laughs> like super happy Speaking of other things that make you hype and excited, what about Makad Brooks as Jax Briggs? Here is his poster right here in all its glory. Again, we've seen Makad Brooks as Jax a few times through promotional screenshots and what have you, but to actually see what the poster looks great, those mechanical bionic arms. I love it. I cannot wait to see our boy not only lose his human arms, but then uh, gain these and become the Jax that we all love. So. Yeah, I'm really excited for Jax. The rumors of that scene where he loses his human arm, spoiler alert, um, it sounds brutal. If it really is real, and I've been hearing about it for a few weeks now, if that is really in the movie, gosh, I am so excited for this film. Then of course, finally, a couple hours ago, they saved the very best for last. Hiroyuki Sonata as Scorpion. For the first time, Scorpion rocking his Scorpion attire, and yeah, I have nothing else to say but just flawless. They killed it, they delivered, there is his kunai on the bottom, the spear, he's got his sword on his back, he's got the glowing eyes, he's got the hood, which I think just makes him look so much more menacing. The mask is great. It looks like a Mortal Kombat 11 mask. The actual shoulder pads, though they look like they're just uh, some bullets for like an AR-15 or something. It looks great. I really do think the shoulder pads give that added oomph of authenticity. So I am, I'm, I think between Shang Tsung and Scorpion, it's a toss up. But man, if this Scorpion is not getting you hyped for this movie, I honestly don't know what else will other than seeing Fatalities in the trailer tomorrow. Yes. So guys, that is all I got for y'all today. A grand total of 11 posters were dropped within the last 12 hours over on all the socials for the Mortal Kombat movie. I'm so excited. I, uh, I'm glad that we're finally getting some marketing for the film because again, we've been covering it here on the channel for a year and I feel like it didn't exist until this morning, it seems like. So... Anyways, I am super curious to hear your guys' thoughts on all of these costume designs, the actors, which one is the best in your opinion. If you could change a few things, of course, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys did enjoy the video, though, please take one second, drop a like on it, of course. Subscribe for some more MK content here on the channel. Until next time, been your host, Man Dynasty. You guys, please take care, stay safe. Trailer is dropping tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 12 p.m. Eastern. I will have a reaction. Ah! It's finally here. So excited. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you. Dynasty for years now. GTA, MK, and Justice. I'm still down. Rapper meets gamer. I wonder how y'all feel now. That was just a setup. Watch it get real now. Okay, so me and Sub Zero was born in 90.